The social justice fight continues to rage on around the world, and people with a platform are using their voices to help spark change. That includes Grand Rapids native Kayvon Frazier. The Grand Rapids Christian and CMU football standout now playing for the Miami Dolphins. And Jack Dole spoke with him about his participation in a recent march and got his thoughts on Colin Kaepernick. Kayvon, Colin Kaepernick has not played in the NFL since 2016. He's the guy that really tried to get this conversation going uh, back then. Uh, how important is it to be able to see him play? How much would you like to see him back in the National Football League this year? And how important has he been to this movement? Yeah, man, I would love to see you know him back in the National Football League this year. You know, he's he's definitely um, you know he's seen it. He's seen it before. I mean, we all we all seen it. We witnessed it. We went through it. But you know, it kind of become it kind of became numb to us because you know this is the world that we grew up in, and it's been like that since you know I was born. So it just kind of became the norm. Um, but he wanted to make a stand, and he sacrificed everything for it. You know, he sacrificed his whole career. You know, a lot of money. Um, you know, he sacrificed everything. So you know, I would love to see him back. In, you know, you know, in the National Football League in a uniform. Um, you know, I, you know, he got my utmost respect, you know, I, I can't, I can't respect him enough because he, of the, um, you know, of everything that he, he tried to put into light before, you know, anybody was doing anything about it, you know, without him, I don't think, you know, we'll be in a situation right now that, uh, that we're in right now, that change is going to come. So, you know, he definitely... He definitely took the first step and he, you know, and now we all on his back. He takes guts, it takes courage to make a stand like he did. Is he the modern day Muhammad Ali? Yes, I would say that. I would say that just because, um, you know, Muhammad Ali, you know, he sacrificed a lot too, uh, not going um, overseas. And, um, and same with Colin Kaepernick. He sacrificed a lot. They both sacrificed a lot of years, you know, in their prime or, you know, even if, if people say Kaepernick is not in his prime anymore, I mean, he's still a really, really, really good football player that that can change teams and, you know, make an impact. So, um, you know, they both sacrificed a lot. They both um, had to take, you know, the fall and the fault for, for a lot of different things. So, you know, I definitely would say he's – He's a modern day Muhammad Ali. Um, he stood up for something that's bigger than him. That's that's hopefully, you know, change is going to come for the next generations. And, you know, that's exactly what Muhammad Ali did. Um, so, yeah, he's definitely the modern day Muhammad Ali. Kayvon, you have a two year old daughter. And what will you and your wife share with her? How important is this conversation in homes when the headlines go away? Oh, man, it's definitely important. Um, you know, with my daughter, you know, obviously, I mean, if people who who don't know my wife, you know, she's white. And so, and so my daughter is biracial. One thing that, you know, we've been talking about a lot is how the world is going to view her. Um, and not to confuse her, uh, you know, through her early years. Um, so we're going to raise her like she's black, um, you know, because that's how... You know, that's how the world is going to view her. That's, what, that's how a cop is going to view her when they pull her over because, you know, she is darker. She is, um, you know, closer to my skin color. So, you know, anybody that see her, you know, they're going to think she's black. So that's how we're going to raise her. Um, you know, obviously she is biracial or obviously she is bi biracial, but, you know, uh, sometimes white people don't see her like that. So... So we got to raise her like that. Kayvon, I know you took part in the march in uh, Frisco, Texas. How much pride did you take being a part of that? And uh, what was your takeaway as you looked around and you saw black and white together discussing these issues? Man, I took a lot of pride in being in that, um, you know, and I tried to you know, use my platform, you know, as much as possible to to show people you know, the peaceful protest, you know, because the media, I think the media is doing a very, very good job of, 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 of uh, overshadowing the peace, the peaceful protest with all the, uh, the looters who may be not even part of the protest. So, you know, I took it into my own hands on my social media platform to, 
to at least post about it um, and say how peaceful it was and how great it was seeing people of all different races there supporting supporting the black community, you know, and that's what it's going to take is is it got to be more than just the black people because, you know, obviously we don't take up uh, uh, nearly the amount of population we need for a change.